Hey what's up guys welcome to another video so in this particular video i am going to talk about my experience with facebook security engineer interview process so i'll be sharing you what exactly the question that has been asked so i will list all those questions maybe in the description box like what are the different questions that has been asked to me during the interview process and i will tell you the exact process that i went through like what are the different rounds that i went through what kind of questions the interviewer basically asked me and uh, share my experience with this particular interview so that you get some uh, clear idea next time if someone whoever is watching this video uh, appear for the interview they will get better idea or prepare better way so that they don't get fail so yeah i've been not posting some of the video recently due to i was like you know busy with some different task and uh, the good thing is that uh, i think i have done some of my automation and a lot of hard work in last couple of months so things are quite stable now and i will definitely try to post at least two video uh, in a week so that you guys get more knowledge about what all things uh, that is happening in information security all right so let's get started and let's jump into the topic so the first thing that i uh, received on a particular tuesday uh, evening i believe from one of the hr uh, from the facebook i'll put the screenshot over there so the hr says like okay i hope you are having a good day at with your current organization and that we are looking for an you know security engineer for facebook and this is for a uk location okay i uh, read that message and definitely replied to the hr like okay i'm happy to explore the particular opportunity so uh, let me know what is the next step so then the hr basically scheduled uh, a interview round uh, basically to collect the basic information yeah before that i also asked for the exact job description like which particular role what are the role that they are looking for what are the tasks that i'll be doing if i join the organization and all those details so before appearing for any interview i would also request you guys to ask for the jd if not then you go through the jd if they have posted already in some public platform or maybe their career page so that you get some better idea like which particular role you are applying for or whether you have the particular skill whether you will get the work that you are actually ap applying for so all those kind of information will be there in the job description so definitely read that So once that is done, uh, basically HR scheduled some uh, day in the even evening time around, yeah, around 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. Uh, where the HR basically called me and asked me some of the details. So this is where basically the first round itself begin. Uh, like they initially ask as usual, like what is the current role and uh, you know what kind of job that you are doing these days, and uh, we would like to understand you better. Then you basically say some of the answer. Then he or uh, she has basically some list of questions. I believe around 10 to 15 questions that she basically asked me on that particular day. So she asked me a few of the questions related to uh, you know data structure, like what is the difference between single linked list, double linked list. Uh, also some of the questions like which one is good for you know storing password? Is it hashing? Is it encryption? And all those details. Uh, which is the strong cipher for using uh, you know SSL communication? So all those basics level of question, what is the difference between encryption and encoding? So I'll, I'll try to put the, you know, some of the questions in the description box. Probably you guys will get some better idea because I might not recall all these questions while making the video. So I'll link some of the or put some of the questions that is been asked in the description box so that you get some better idea. Okay, so those were the basic level question. Uh, then uh, she came to some of the questions to, you know, in, related to enforcement security. Like she asked me uh, what is like CSRF attack, what are the different type of SQL injection, what are the different type of cross-site scripting. I think we uh, she specifically asked about DOM-based XSS also. So these are some of the questions, I think basic OWASP uh, questions that she basically asked in the uh, first round itself. And the interview actually went for around uh, you know, 45 minutes, I can say. So once that is done, then the HR basically said, oh, we are happy with the answer that you have provided. I believe she was having some checklist again. So she was happy with the answer that I basically provided and she said, okay, we will like to proceed for the next round. And uh, probably I will give you a call or maybe mail you about the next round detail. So she basically also brief about, uh, you know, uh, what are the future rounds that are going to be. So basically the next round was a coding round. So basically there are two challenges that I have to solve, though both are scenario specific. So I'll put the link where I basically appeared for the uh, coding challenges. So basically there are two challenges. One was related to crypto and another was related to jewels. 
so there is one of the question which will be kind of easy to solve uh, basically you will uh, need you will have 45 minutes basically to solve the particular challenge uh, i mean you can choose any particular language that you can write the code so i think i choose python because that is something that i know and i i've been doing for some time now so i choose python and uh, the first question i think i was able to solve within 15 to 20 minutes though the time reserve for uh, the particular challenge solving was uh, around 45 minutes so the questions were uh, not that complicated in fact inside the questions there were some of the test cases also that has been provided so once you write the code you need to basically execute the test cases whether the program is actually able to accept and you know produce the desired output as per the questions okay so i'll put a you know link in the uh, description box so that you get some idea or even i'll put a screenshot over here so that you get some idea now uh, the second question was a little bit more uh, complicated uh, i think it was related to jewels or maybe a crypto combination uh, so the questions were again i am going to give you one of the rough examples so things like let's say 10 people can solve or maybe make a wall within 10 days uh, how long will it take for 20 people to solve uh, those kind of questions uh you need to write a program for solving those kind of questions okay so that uh, these are the just this is not the exact question the real question is a little bit more different but i just try to uh, give you some a brief idea about the logical kind of questions that you will face so fortunately uh, i was also able to answer the second questions as well and uh, I, I was confident that you know i can go for the next round uh, because my code will work for all those test cases that has been provided And again, uh, I got a confirmation from the HR, maybe after three to four days, like, okay, you have successfully completed this round. We would like to have for another round. I'm happy to go for the next round. And uh, so yeah, the next round was with one of the Facebook security engineer. I believe that person was around three to five year experience. Yeah, kind of, I think three year experience. I checked his uh, name in the LinkedIn after getting from the email. So yeah, I could make that, uh, that person was around three to five years. So he basically asked me a few of the questions again we scheduled a particular date and we went for the interview in the first uh, uh, you know uh, section the interview has basically two sections so the first section the interviewer basically asked me to write a code uh, because he wanted to see that how i write the code logic I mean, on live scenario and the second basically was for you know going through some of the questions related to the particular role so the role was more of for SDLC. So I was being asked some of the questions related to SDLC. In the first half, we reserved for coding challenges. So he basically provided the questions. Again, I can say some of the questions are something related to, let's say, palindrome checking or maybe Tower of Hanoi kind of questions. Okay, not the exact question. He just gave me a scenario and he wanted to uh, me to write the particular code. So I again wrote the code. Uh, I was able to write the code around 15 to 20 minutes. But then after uh, successful execution, the interviewer said, okay, logically, let's say I'm providing this negative input or let's say I'm just providing this kind of input, what will be the output or how you are going to modify the program in order to, you know, uh, handle this particular input. So again, I have to modify some of the code. Again, I was partially able to success with that. Uh, the interviewer was, I think, quite happy at the end of half an hour, like, okay, I have able to, I mean, I'm able to write some piece of code. In the second half of the interview, uh, the uh, interview basically asked me some of the web related questions. Things like, I think the kind of question that I typically ask the same question, he asked me like, let's say I'm giving you a login panel and what are the test cases that you are going to test? Consider you have two boxes. Okay, so I started with some a brute force attack to SQL injection. Again, we deep dig into the SQL injection stuff. And also he asked me what is the CSR, uh, how are we going to prevent over there uh, i think i have to list some of the csr mechanism then we jump into various cookie parameter okay why this http only why this secure flag uh, those kind of questions been again asked uh, what is the url direction what how does the course work and all those kind of scenario based questions kind of again i will list some of the questions in the description box so those kind of questions were being asked uh, in the second part of interview and at the end of the interview, uh, again, I was confident that, uh, you know, I can, uh, I'm actually answered around 90% of questions and I should be through to the next round. Yeah, finally, the HR, I can come back saying like, okay, you have completed this round. We have one more technical round of interview uh, where the interviewer will ask you some of the more questions related to the particular role. So in the next round of interview, the interviewer again come in and he asks me some of the questions related to I think more higher level of questions like SSRF, um, even the course policy, how do, what does the 
you know, uh, click checking, uh, how, how do you prevent XSS attack? with header and a different kind of questions okay i will i will list some of the questions unnecessary this video will be too long and people will start losing their interest so those kind of questions were being asked and uh, i was confident that i have actually answered around you know 70 to 80 percent of questions because a few of the stocks i couldn't actually recall i answered around 70 to 80 percent and i was confident that i could basically make to the next round so the next couple of rounds were basically i think with the manager another round with the hr directly about the salary negotiation but unfortunately that is the point where the hr mailed me okay uh, you didn't pass through the next round and we are really sorry to say that okay your interview process end over here but feel free to apply for facebook again after six months and all those kind of you know formality kind of mail that came so i uh, again took it and asked for the feedback uh, to the interviewer like what went wrong or maybe i asked through the hr only like what were the stuff that i couldn't able to answer and details so the interviewer again uh, i think the hr basically replied with some of the feedback which i think like okay makes sense for the particular scenario and uh, yeah so those were the uh, like end of my journey with the facebook interview process and overall i think i'm quite satisfied with whatever questions they were asked and what are the questions that i face but i still feel like okay i could have uh, done more better and in fact they could have actually considered me because the kind of answer that i provided but as we know we are all human and we have the positive thinking process as always so i was really satisfied with the answer and i was expecting for the next round but unfortunately that didn't went through but nothing to feel bad about that's how life goes on you never always get everything easily right so you have to pass through or struggle through or process through so uh, that's the kind of uh, whole experience that i had with facebook security and uh, if you are failing on a particular interview do ask for the feedback to the interviewer or maybe to the hr so that they can collect from the interviewer and provide you what all things that didn't uh, went well so that's pretty much about the entire experience uh, with the facebook i hope if you are someone who is watching this video or who have actually watched this video from the beginning till the end uh, then you will definitely uh, this video is going to help you if you are appearing for facebook as a security engineer in some time of your life hope you guys like this video and i promise you i'll be putting more content really uh, frequently it's not like we had a gap of around two months but that's fine so in future i'm definitely going to make some more videos and do hit like subscribe share this video and have a good day